we all know that HIMARS, or High Mobility Artillery Rocket Systems, are giving a hard time to Russians in Ukraine. Ukrainian Defense Minister Alexei Reznikov underlined the growing impact of HIMARS, stating that this cuts their Russian logistical chains and takes away their ability to conduct active fighting and cover our armed forces with heavy shelling. Ukraine already has 12 HIMARS deployed and expects the delivery of four to eight more. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu has ordered his forces to prioritize destroying HIMARS launchers, but success seems to have eluded them. Not only this, the Russians are finding it difficult to intercept guided MLRS being launched by HIMARS. Thanks to BulgarianMilitary.com, more details are now available and importantly, it is coming from the Russian side. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russian forces are finding it difficult to protect its assets from HIMARS. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It is risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. A Russian anti-aircraft AA gunner described to the Russian news agency RIA Novosti how difficult it is to counter the HIMARS MLRS. The agency does not mention his name but refer to him as the officer, likely due to his rank as an officer in the Russian army. As per BulgarianMilitary.com, according to the Russian officer, gunners operating the Russian Army's Buk M3 anti-aircraft missile system in Ukraine are gradually learning how to shoot down the American M30 and M31 missiles that HIMARS fires. The officer stated, Besides successfully handling its tasks set by the factory, it also fired missiles, although this was not according to its characteristics, declared. The Russian officer claims that he personally shot down one American HIMARS MLRS missile over the Donbas donated to Ukraine, but he admits that this American weapon is a serious challenge for Russian gunners. The source said, the most difficult target we have worked on is HIMARS rockets. These shells fly at a very high altitude. We at least detect missiles up to 22,000 meters in height. The difficulty lies in the fact that the range is short and the time to make a decision is minimal. Our combat crews valiantly cope with the task of shooting down literally within 10 seconds. The effective dispersion area of these shells is very small, only zero. Therefore, the target is considered small-sized, high-speed. The Russian officer who spoke to Ria Novosti said that the Buk M3 copes much more successfully with artillery shells of Soviet design or Russian design, which are in service in the inventory of the Ukrainian army. As an example, he gives that over the Donbas, Buck M3 successfully intercepted and shot down 95% of Ukrainian Tachka U missiles fired. The Buck Air Defense missile system was developed to replace the previous Cub. Its industrial designation is 9K37. Development of this system commenced in 1972 and was meant to be a successor to the Cub M3. It entered service with the Soviet Army in 1980. Buk M3 is the latest version of this family of air defense systems. It fires 9K317E missile, which has a range of 50 kilometers or 31 miles, can reach an altitude of 25,000 meters and has a speed of Mach 4.6. 9K317E missile has a high explosive fragmentation warhead. It uses inertial guidance, radio control mid-course update, and terminal semi-active radar homing. This system seems to be the best bet for Russia against guided MLRS launched by HIMARS.
Russia has got hold of at least three seized or unexploded GMLRS M31 rockets. They're being shifted to Moscow in the Central Military District where the chief air defense engineers of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation are located. As per reports, the rockets will be examined and a full-size replica will be created. After this, a 3D profile will be generated through scanning which will have precise dimensions. This will then be uploaded as data to Russian radar networks which are all connected whether deployed in Ukraine or Russia. Russian forces expected that after this they will have a better success rate when firing to intercept HIMARS rockets. But it will take time to materialize and it is unclear if this will actually work. It is important to note that Ukraine is firing GMLRS along with other less advanced rockets like Tachka in a barrage to make interception more difficult. Ukraine stated that its forces had used HIMARS to destroy 50 Russian ammunition depots since receiving the system last month. This has thrown Russian logistics into disarray and is slowing the Russian military's advance in eastern Ukraine. Ukrainian troops have struck a strategic bridge essential for Moscow to supply its forces occupying the country's south using HIMARS. The Antonivsky Bridge across the Dnieper River is still standing but its deck was pierced with holes stopping vehicles from crossing. It is evident that HIMARS is inflicting damage on Russian forces in several ways. Russia's Wagner Telegram channel has stated no HIMARS are destroyed and a video circulated to showcase a hit on HIMARS was in fact a timber truck. It is essential for Moscow to find a way to deal with HIMARS failing which it will have to absorb a lot of losses in both men and materials. Since the highest leadership of the Russian military is involved, some progress is expected. It remains to be seen how things pan out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.